there you can see the firefighters and the fire that they are trying to put out right now. That's the truck. We've got firefighters on the other side of the river. Breaking news out of Southwest Virginia, a multi-vehicle crash on US 58 involving a tractor trailer that caught fire, sending four people to the hospital. We have a crew live on the scene to bring you the latest information. Law enforcement has responded to a multi-vehicle crash involving an 18-wheeler on US 58 near the Clinch River that caught fire and has shut down multiple lanes. News 5's PJ Johnson live on the scene right now. What's the latest? Hey, Julie, we're on the scene here in St. Paul. I'm out of the anchor chair tonight to tell you about this massive wreck of including a big rig and three cars. Let me explain what happened. It was about 5.30 this afternoon. If you'll look this way, Keith, you'll see a familiar sight of Morgan McClure Ford. So that gives you an idea where we are on Highway 58. Well, that truck lost his brakes coming down the big hill before you get to Morgan McClure. And then he lost control, hit three cars, ricocheted over this barrier, and then crashed into this guardrail, went down that bank, hit a big tree. The truck burst into flames. It was hauling a load of plastic pipe, and then it went into the river. Now, luckily, the driver was able to escape on his own. He was picked up by the ambulance and then flown by helicopter to Bristol Regional Hospital. And right now, as you can see, there are three huge tow trucks on the scene here. They're trying to pull this big rig out of the Clinch River. Jess Powers is with me now. He's the emergency management here. Jess, why is it so vital to get the truck out of the river as quickly as you can? Because we need to see what the environmental, environmental damage is for the for the river because now that we got the fire out we want to make sure that the river is safe just to be clear the fire also caught these plastic pipe on fire and they were very combustible did they release any toxic material is that what you're worried about it is actually landfill liner that's going to the power plant so it's going to be used in the landfill so it is a plastic rolled up material so it's not really a pipe it's a liner for the landfill but do you believe it was toxic it is a vinyl chloride product, but it's used in landfill, so it's non-toxic. Oh, okay. But once it's burned, it becomes a liquid form, which floats on the top of the river. So we want to make sure that the river is safe. And we should also mention that a lot of communities use the Clinch River for their water supply. They do. Dungannon, Clinchport, on down. It's, it's in the Tennessee River Basin. Right. That's Jess Powers, Emergency Management. I'm live here on Highway 58 in St. Paul. We'll bring you the latest. We've got three big tow trucks. One of the biggest two are right behind me. They're trying to pull this big rig out of the river. We're also trying to get Sky 5 up in the air to give you a shot of that. So stay tuned for more coming up here, News 5 on Fox. Reporting live from St. Paul, P.J. Johnson, News 5, WCYB. We're continuing to follow the breaking news we first brought you tonight out of St. Paul, Virginia, off the top of our broadcast. Broadcast. Officials tell us an 18-wheeler lost its brakes on US 58, hit three other vehicles before going into the Clinch River. Crews still working right now to clean up the damage. We're heading out live to News 5's PJ Johnson for the latest. PJ. Hey, Julie. Obviously, I'm out in the field tonight to cover a big rig crash that happened around 530 in St. Paul. We have some additional details for you. There were actually four trucks today scheduled to deliver these landfill liners. They're rolled up so they look like pipe. Well, the first truck around 530 came down this big hill here where Morgan McClure Ford is, and he lost his brakes. He came through there, smashed through the red light. He sideswiped two cars and ran into the back of a truck. And when he did, it sent him off course, and he crashed through this guardrail over here to your right, Keith. You'll see this guardrail is down. He went through that, hit a tree, and then by that time, he was in the river and it was on fire. Now, we have some Sky 5 drone footage I want to show so you can kind of get an idea of the massive effort that is underway to get this truck out of the river because a lot of local communities depend on this river for their water supply. So they're trying to get the truck out. It was carrying that liner, which was made of plastic, and then that plastic was uh, ignited. 
So they're worried about some toxic, toxic material getting into the water. Jess Powers tells me they have had some booms up to collect that. So everything in the water supply should be okay. By the way, the driver did get out on his own. He cut his seatbelt off with a box cutter, climbed out. The rescue squad then helped deliver him to a helicopter where he was flown to Bristol Regional for treatment. Meanwhile, the three people that he sideswiped, they all had minor injuries, but they're going to be okay. Now, quickly, we've got Gunner here, who's with one of the local towing companies. There's three of them here trying to get this baby out of the river. Gunner, how hard is it going to be? It shouldn't be very hard. It's just a matter of getting everything together and ready to go. What about all these trees that are in your way? Um, if we have to cut a few, we have chainsaws on site. We'll cut things if we have to. Gunner, it's going to be a long night. Yeah, it should be. All right. Thank you, Gunner. Good luck to you. Reporting live in St. Paul, P.J. Johnson, News 5 on Fox. Julie, back to you. All right, P.J., thank you so much. Now, we also want to thank all of our viewers who have sent us photos of this fiery crash. You can see much more online at WCYB.com. Also, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter for the very latest. And, of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on air right here on News 5 on Fox and News 5 WCYB tonight at 11. We begin with breaking news. Cleanup is underway right now from a multi-vehicle crash crash in St. Paul, Virginia. We were the first to tell you what's happening. This crash happened on US 58 involving three passenger vehicles and an 18 wheeler that ended up in the Clinch River. News 5's PJ Johnson is live on the scene. PJ, what's the latest right now? Hey, Julie, I'm on Highway 58 in St. Paul, where around 5.30 this afternoon, a big rig lost his brakes coming down the hill crashed into three cars, ricocheted off, went through a guardrail, and landed in the Clinch River. And right now, there's a massive effort to get this truck out of the water. Now, earlier tonight, we had Sky 5, our drone, up in the air. I want to show you some of that footage, give you an idea of the massive effort we're, that is underway right now to remove this truck from the water. We have three tow trucks of the four tow trucks that are in the county. They're all here. They're trying to pull that truck out of the water. And the reason is the Clinch River is a major supplier for water for a lot of local communities. They want to make sure this truck, which was hauling landfill liners that were rolled up to look like pipe, when they ignited in the truck crash, it did release some plastic. So here with the latest on that is Jess Powers. We're going to bring Jess in. He's emergency management director. And Jess, I understand you've put booms up in the Clinch River to catch any possible debris coming from that fire. We are putting booms in now to prevent any of the petroleum products that could leach into the river so that it doesn't go downstream. And we're having problems getting the boom in currently. So yeah. once we get that, we'll start moving the truck out. I was going to say, the truck is on its side or kind of on its back, so you think it'll be pretty easy to pull out if you get the booms installed? Yes, I think the truck will come out very easy. And how long do you think this effort will go tonight? Probably all night. Probably all night. Yeah. So it's going to be a long night here in St. Paul. I can give you an update on the three cars that he crashed into. He sideswiped two, ran into the back of a truck. All three of those drivers had minor injuries. Meanwhile, the truck driver was able to cut his way with a box cutter out of the seatbelt, and he climbed out of the truck. He was later flown to Bristol Hospital, where he remains there for treatment. Reporting live in St. Paul, P.J. Johnson, News 5, WCYB. Julie? P.J., we're going to talk to you again later. Thank you so much for that update. Now, here's a little background for you. Just last week, several federal and state agencies announced they were extending their efforts to protect the Clinch River and its unique group of aquatic animals. According to the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries, that includes 50 species of mussels, more than any other river in the world. There are also more than 100 species of non-game fish that are vital to the survival of other fish and those mussels. Just last week, several federal and state agencies announced they were extending their efforts to protect the river due to this unique wildlife. Make sure you stay with us on News 5 for the very latest on this fiery crash. Also, be sure to follow us on WCYB.com for the latest updates. P.J. Johnson has been covering this live all night. P.J.?
Hey, Julie, continuing coverage from St. Paul. I've worked my way closer to the crash site. You can see the Clinch River behind me and those glowing people you see in the water. They're installing those booms that will collect the residue from this accident. There's a lot of diesel fuel in the water. Now, keep in mind, diesel fuel will float on the top of the water. So those booms will catch that. Once they get the booms in place, then the enormous effort of getting this truck and all those liners out of the water will begin. And that's probably going to take most of the night. The big concern is if some of these liners come undone, come unrolled, that's going to be very hard to get it all up. But we've got three tow trucks just waiting to jerk that truck out of the river, and we'll see what happens. Reporting live from St. Paul, P.J. Johnson, News 5, WCYB. Julie, back to you.